plan. We've got to show the people we can take back their cities and towns for them. Rico Rodriguez has returned. Born of the same fire that gave rise to my reign. Why would you want to piss off Di Ravello? Di Rico. I'm Mario, my bro. I am not your bro. We're at the uh, PlayStation pop-up event here in Stockholm, and we're celebrating Just Cause 3. It's coming out, finally. It's been five years. I can't believe it's been five years since Just Cause 2. It doesn't feel like five years, but here it is. We're here with Andreas. Uh, first of all, can you tell us what, what you've been working on in the game, what you're responsible for? Uh, for Just Cause 3, I've been working on uh, some of the character mechanics, uh, then the cameras, and... Some physics, uh, a little bit of this and that. <laughs> yeah, physics and, and camera. It sounds like it's a lot of things that are really central to the experience that the player will be having. Uh, what kind of work goes into that and what kind of sort of, how has it pr progressed, if you will, since, since Just Cause 2? I mean, a big part of uh, the Just Cause uh, franchise, or I mean, the Just Cause game, is to I mean, we have, it's a big open world game, obviously, and traversing that big open world is one key part of the game. And we put in tons and tons of work in, into getting uh, like the player mechanics to feel fluid, so that you can get this flow going between uh, reeling in with the grappling hook, pulling the parachute, diving into the wingsuit, and into a vehicle, out of the vehicle, getting that all those features to uh, fit together in a way that you can just seamlessly move around. That's, that's, it takes a lot of work. And uh, I think, yeah, I think it's, I think we've, we've done something really, really special. So I, I, I'm just hoping for uh, a good response from the fans now, the coming days, but I'm, I'm pretty certain that they'll love it. Yeah, because that is one thing that is, is so important because you can do all of that very nicely and sort of removing player control, but the key here is sort of keeping the player in control at all times, right? Yeah, I mean, this is a game where we, we deliver uh, toys or tools and you as a player, you create your own uh, experience. It's, it's a, a true sandbox game in that sense, I'd say. What's it been like? Because this is a little bit different than the previous games. You, the, the main bulk of the game has been made in New York, and you've been—it's a lot of new team members. What's it been like creating this this third game? Uh, it's it's been uh, it's been fun. I mean, we've we've always uh, had original just cause just cause two uh, team man members on on the project, but then. Open up a studio in New York obviously allowed us to uh, to recruit uh, a lot of very very skilled talent, uh, and I think uh, those two things coming together is really what you can see in Just Cause Three. So obviously tomorrow or at midnight is, is sort of a culmination of a lot of work, a lot of things that a lot of years that has gone into this. Could you put it into words what, what sort of launch day means? I mean, these days maybe it's not, you're not done with the game entirely, but still it's, it's a monumental thing. I don't think I can. <laughs> no, but I mean, obviously it's very, very exciting that uh, something you worked with for so long uh, is finally gonna see uh, like, public light or whatever you would like to call that but I mean uh, this is I mean this is the the reason for making games is of course to have people play them so uh, now it's it's hard to describe the feeling it's very special so uh, if, if you without spoiling any of the story or anything like that if you got like a, a favorite uh, place in the game, favorite location or favorite thing that you could could mention, just you know, so people can keep an eye out on it when, when they're playing. Uh, wow, that's a hard, 
question, difficult question. Uh, there's so many, I mean, our artists have put in so much effort to create this beautiful, beautiful uh, world. And I don't want to name one single location in the world. Oh, that's, that's, that's weak, come on. No, but I mean, it's, it's, for me, it's more like everything put together. It's, it's uh, the sum of all parts. And I think we've, we've done some amazing updates to the game design, like uh, adding the wingsuit uh, is now a means to, to traverse faster through the world, just with the character. And that also allowed us to uh, pull back on the velocity and stabilize the parachute, so that the parachute now is a great combat platform. Uh, and then combining those two things with the grappling hook, it's just, I think it's very unique gameplay experience using those three uh, elements or mechanics to, to traverse the world. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.